Despite several Chinese companies being delisted recently from U.S. stock exchanges, Chinese companies still continue to seek American capital. They have raised around $4.4 billion in Q1 2021 through initial public offerings, or IPO, on U.S. exchanges, according to data from Deloitte and Touche. This translates to a more than tenfold increase compared to $370 million raised in Q1 2020. And there are several high-profile Chinese IPOs on the horizon, such as ByteDance's Douyin, a Chinese version of TikTok, and Didi Chuxing, China's number one ride-hailing app. China's Xiaomi is also watching the developments closely as Biden administration on May 12 reversed action by Trump and removed Xiaomi from blacklist. So why do so many Chinese companies continue to list their stock on U.S. exchanges despite clear regulatory risks? The main reason could be market access. The value of China's entire stock market is about $11.7 trillion in total, compared to $49 trillion for the U.S. stock market, according to Siblis Research. Meanwhile, the total market value of all Chinese companies traded on U.S. exchanges amounted to $1.9 trillion, or more than 10% of the entire stock market in China, according to an analysis by the Epoch Times using Bloomberg data as of April 30. Moving these large-scale companies back to China would likely crowd out available capital for the onshore market. In addition, China's market is largely consisted of individual investors, whereas U.S. market is dominated by institutions. As institutions turn over their holdings less frequently than individual investors, this enables the U.S. stock price to be less volatile. While U.S. investments continue to attract Chinese companies, U.S. investors should remain wary as the information transparency and disclosure integrity of these companies are not on par with their U.S. peer. Even after China allows U.S. regulators to examine audit work papers, there are no guarantees those work papers are original or factual. For example, the infamous luck and coffee fraud wasn't uncovered by its auditor, who claimed to bear no responsibility as the statements and records it received from the company were falsified. It's clear that obtaining capital from U.S. investment is a key financial strategy for many Chinese companies, and by extension, the Chinese Communist Party CCP. On the other hand, receiving Chinese investment also does bear implications, to which the West must be, quote, very careful, said Anthony Blinken, U.S. Secretary of State. So this is not directed at China per se. Uh, it is directed at upholding this, uh, this rules-based order because that has been the best guarantor of peace, progress, stability the world has seen but over the last we, 75 can years. We, can we do that upholding and also have a huge amount of Chinese investment in our economies? Well, I think we have to be uh, very careful about exactly what the nature is uh, of that investment.